Ground and pound is a true art form, and whether you're talking about Khabib Nurmagomedov, Jack Hermanson, or this guy, they've all taken it to the next level over the last several years. Yes, it's unbelievable to watch him take control and find opportunities to land ground strikes. Now, what they do so well is he does not waste punches. He usually will find one good shot and take it. He does not try to just go punch, 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 punch for the sake of punching. He finds position, he finds posture, he brings his hands inside, and then he comes over the top with elbows, or he lands the big right hands that makes his opponents fold up, and then he goes to the next position, whether it be submission or continuing to ground and pound his opponents into the bottom of the octagon. And of course, it all starts with maintaining top position, which he does as well as anyone in the game. All right, so here he is, the inimitable last style bender, Israel Adesanya, still undefeated as a mixed martial artist. DC, you tried to bring him in to emulate John Jones back in the day, and he's such a meticulous, thoughtful guy that he said no because Luke Rocco was in that gym and he thought he might have to fight him one. He knew that at some point he would reach Luke Rocco in his division, so he said, you know what? I want to help you, DC, but I can't because of what's going to happen going forward in my career. He did not want to put Luke or himself in such an awkward situation. How about forward thinking? How about I'm forward thinking that that would have come to pass only a few short years later? But in Israel Asanya, you also have the mentality, but the fighting ability to become a UFC champion in only 12, 13 months. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 32 wins, 15 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Temecula, California, Dan Hendo! Hendo! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it upright. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Straight right hand, no good. Well, the last style bender's got it going here tonight, DC. As he often says, I don't throw and hope, I aim and fire. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Oh, straight right. That's a big hook. 
Oh! Straight right, he misses. He's very tricky when he throws that body foot. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Certainly found the target. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Pretty good kicks there by Henderson. Getting the limb to the target there. Huge block there. Israel Adesanya gets tattooed by that stiff jab. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off. Lisa. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Leg kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Right hand upstairs. Missed with that attempt. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all legs. Yeah, and when you're standing with Israel, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike that he was going oh! Chase that finish down now. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Under a minute to go. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well-placed kick there by Adesanya. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but it doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Oh. You like that left hand. He's got one right here. Oh, he goes with the punch and it lands. That's how you finish your fight. up again, you gotta like that. Right hand, punch. huge right. elbow there. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! <laughs> Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 56 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Dan! So there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And gotta be 